I'm so excited for today's video that I am standing up and I have no pants on. Some of my favorite types of videos to do on my channel are the dressing like blank for a week. I've done TV show characters, scary movie characters, and then my last one was dressing like a princess. And for a while I've been wanting to do something involving dressing like different decades because fashion trends in the past fascinate me and as we all know I dress fairly boring so any chance I get to dress up I will take it. So as I was researching different fashion trends from, I don't know, the 50s or 60s, I came across a photo of a Barbie doll from the 50s and she looked so cute and I was like, why don't I do dressing like Barbies from different decades? So anyways, today we have Barbie from the 50s. I am so excited. First of all, this Barbie doll was $60. I only got two of the Barbies because all of them were so expensive and I'm like I'm not gonna spend all this money on Barbies just to have them sit here But I had to get at least two so I can like play with them afterwards and make them make out. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that That's weird <laughs> So lonely though. Anyways, this one was what really caught my eye. This is a collector edition. Great fashions of the 20th century. Nifty 50s. I don't know if I'm supposed to open this because it, it doesn't look like a box that's meant to be opened, but I'm gonna open it. I haven't opened a Barbie doll since I was a child. I was very much into Barbies and yes, I would make them do things. <laughs> So yeah, this is my outfit for today. There's a few things that'll be missing. Like I didn't get everything exact, but you know, I did my best. So starting off with the outfit, let's put that on. I already did my makeup as you can tell to look like her. What do you think? Starting off with the skirt, I could not find an adult woman's poodle skirt that really resembled hers for some reason. I thought that'd be the easiest thing to find, but it wasn't. So I found this skirt and I made that poodle. I cut it out of a shirt and it doesn't really look like a poodle. It looks more like a mutated city rat. It's good enough. It'll look good from far away. So who really cares? One of these things. I haven't tried any of this on. I literally never know what it's going to look like until the moment comes. So this is just another video where I fulfill a childhood dream of some sort. Last video, I had a tea party with my cat and now I'm dressing up as Barbies. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm not really sure. I would. I have to look in a mirror. I don't know what's going on yet, but here's the shirt. I tied it just like Barbie's is. Hi, I'm Barbie. Hi. I would have to hear her in order to do a proper impression. Luckily, I already had a black cardigan. This just reminds me of that one scene from Vampire Diaries where Elena and Stefan are dancing at like a 50s themed dance. <laughs> And Elena's like, what were the 50s like? I wish I had a picture of you. I bet the sweaters were so fun. And Stefan's like, well, there was like segregation and lots of other horrible things. And she was like, <laughs> but there was paddle skirts, right? What else? What else? We have to do the ponytail. She has like this huge black belt. I'm starting to feel this. All right, now we have, in my opinion, the most important part, which is her ponytail and her bangs and then the little pink tie that goes in her hair. We have made it to the bathroom. <laughs> The one thing I wish I had is a pearl necklace, but hers isn't that visible, so it's fine. But oh my gosh, please ignore the bangs. I mean, like I did the best I could. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm dressing as Barbie for we- Wait a second. Oh no, I turned into Barbie because I got the outfit so accurate. I love this. I really want to take the bangs out because they just look, I feel like they're ruining everything. Um, fun fact, I dressed up as Barbie for Halloween in eighth grade and I made the costume myself and I made the boy that I liked at the time dress up as Ken. Um, since I can't use Barbie girl because it'll get copyrighted, I'm just going to sing it. <laughs> Hiya, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. I'm a Barbie girl in a part of the 
way harder than I thought it would be. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Dry some plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. I'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world. Dress me here, make it dry on your darling. You can brush my hair. it looks like without the bangs because I feel like a little boy who got a really bad haircut now my forehead looks huge I don't know what else to do <laughs> it's blizzarding outside snow snow all right guys well I hope you enjoyed day one of this amazing so entertaining YouTube video we'll see you guys tomorrow keep watching keep keep watching keep watching keep on watching keep watching okay whatever <laughs> I was supposed to have started filming hours ago, but I started reading a book and lost track of time. <laughs> Anyways, today is Barbie from the 60s, and I do not have this doll, so enjoy these photos of Barbie from the 60s. She's wearing like this big pink, like fluffy jacket, and the closest one I could find was $70, so I was like, no. Ruby's chewing on a box, like a big fat lump. You're so big. Remember how small she was? Not anymore. I'm going to transform, and you guys can be the judge of how well I did. Um, I'm gonna go quickly put on some 60s makeup, and then we'll put on the outfit and, and turn into Barbie. I got a wig, it's gonna be so fun. Stay tuned. Hey guys, while I was gone, I got lip injections. Just kidding. Fooled you. Now that I have my makeup on, I must say, I am not a huge fan of this makeup look. And it's still snowing, just so you know. Editing magic, woo! <laughs> okay, I wasn't very confident in this one because I thought it was not gonna look like it at all, but this is my mom's jacket. I felt like it was similar enough. Even just finding a shirt with a remotely similar pattern was so difficult, but I need to show you guys the full fit, so. Let's go into the other room. <laughs> bam, bam. There are boots. It's so hard to film my full body. Do you think the jacket is like making it or ruining it? I can't tell. Well, when in doubt, have a montage. Am I right? with 60s Barbie. Today we're gonna be making canned soup because I'm too pretty to know how to cook. Um, first you'll need a pot to cook the soup. Okay, got the pot. Okay, I've got the pot to cook the soup in. And now, we're gonna open the can. So you just, that I opened the can all by myself with no help. Now you just pour the can of soup into the pan. <laughs> I've never used a stove before in my life. That's what can is for. The soup is coming along nicely. When I like to make sure a soup is hot enough, I just grab can and tell him to stick his whole hand in it. And if he gets first degree burns, it's done. Now that I've put a sufficient amount of pepper on top of my soup, enough to make me feel something, it's time to taste it.
is fucking disgusting. Who made this? Ken? My producers are telling me that they want me to take another bite because I made the first one look disgusting. Well, one of the things I am amazing at is being an actress, so... <sighs> It was hot. Yum. Green soup. Make sure you tune in next time where I'll show you how to make a prime rib from a human. I think that about wraps up day two, don't you? So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello all. Welcome to the next day. Today we are doing, obviously, 80s Barbie. This just so happens to be the Barbie that was in Toy Story, so it was easy to find. I just wanna say, I don't think these Barbies are actually from the years that they're dressed as. Like the 50s Barbie clearly isn't from the 50s, but we can ignore that. I managed to turn the bangs into cement. Her bangs are literally like, they're hard as a rock. <laughs> I kind of love this one. I really do feel like I'm from the 80s. Let me tell you guys about how my night went slash morning went. After I filmed, I read a book for seven hours straight. <laughs> and then I had some of the most vivid dreams I have ever had. They just felt too real. I don't understand how my brain can do that. I don't understand how my brain can create such realistic feeling scenarios. And I still ordered this tea that I saw on TikTok that apparently gives you like insane lucid dreams. So I'm probably going to transcend into another universe. Sometimes my dreams are so vivid that I like forget who I am and how this world works. Can someone let me know why I have extremely vivid dreams all the time? Like what's going on in my brain that does that. Pardon who? <laughs> Look, we're doing the same pose. Why is she so much tanner than me? Oh my God, I did some dirty things with my Barbies when I was younger. If you didn't do dirty things with your Barbies, you're lying. And I never had a male Barbie, so. I always thought male Barbies were a waste of money. Why get a male Barbie when you can just have two girls? Why am I talking about this? I figured since this Barbie is workout related, I've been trying to do at-home workouts because the gym gives me anxiety and I hate it. Let's see how good this outfit it is for actually doing a workout. You can get in shape without ever having to leave your living room. <laughs> 80s aerobics class. Take a second to make sure you're breathing from your diaphragm. Place your fingers on your abdominals and feel them expand as you inhale, filling up your lungs. Now exhale and feel the abdominal. Down, down, down. You got it. This is so fun! Use the legs, warm up the body, last two, circle the arms! Exhausted and this ponytail is hurting me. Oh god, that is a relief. Well, I can tell you what, working out and this not fun. I think that about wraps up day three. I liked it. I like how all of them are very different. I will see you tomorrow for the fourth day. Welcome to day four. Today I am school spirit Barbie from the 90s. To change the pace a little bit, I came to Brandon's house only because he had the microphone that I needed, but I figured yeah, piece of shit. people might be getting bored with just my apartment and me, so. I mean, I would be bored. You look red. Thanks. Um, Barbie eats five guys. Does she? <laughs> Barbie took a oh, bite of her burger. Wow, food. good job. Behind the curtains, Barbie can put some meat down. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Did you see there was a Barbie show, Barbie? <laughs> My lipstick is gone because it's been hours. Is this gonna make me smell like fish? You already smell like fish. <laughs> now meow. I can't. It wasn't in this. Catnip. Mm. <laughs>
Did you watch my birthday vlog? No. Well, I said something sweet about you in it. So you never oh, saw yeah, it. Oh yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I think I did actually. Fuck you, I take it back. Is that why all the comments are like, Brandon's such a sweet brother. Mm. Oh, the catnip's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been healthy today. <laughs> I had a bunch of caffeine and catnip. <laughs> Come on in! Welcome to my dream house. I'm so happy you decided to come. That's what I tell Ken every night. Oh my god! You know Ken doesn't have a penis, right? It's flat. That's why I like him. Step on into my office where I do all of my work. This is a little snack I like to keep uh, around my office for when I get hungry. Oh, uh, Barbie, that's catnip. Did you actually eat it? Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna... <laughs> now I'm Barbie gonna... Barbie forgot her inhaler. <laughs> show you what it's like when Barbie's at work. Right now I'm on a Zoom call with my boss because we are in a pandemic. But luckily for me, my boss is me. <laughs> so I just get to stare at myself for a few hours. I'm also having an affair with my boss. <laughs> Barbie has an OnlyFans. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go see Ken's bedroom. This way. He's got a nice little space in there. He only comes out when he needs to make me food. Ken, come be in my video. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> Ken, are you in there? Come make me dinner. <laughs> Ken. 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 I know you're cheating on me with 80s aerobics, Barbie. Fucking asshole. <laughs> it appears Ken isn't home at the moment. <laughs> I wonder where he is. Anyways, please excuse my smeared off lipstick. I thought this one was so cute. It was the most realistic probably. I think this is the first one that was actually from the year that it was supposed to be. Like this was, this Barbie was actually from the 90s. I don't know if the 80s one was from the 80s. I don't know. I'm not doing Barbie research. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow for 2000s Barbie. It's Britney, bitch. We have made it to the end of the week. <sighs> it is day five, last day of dressing like Barbies. And today we are doing 2000s Barbie. Barbie, Diva Gone Platinum. Just because she's so dressed up, she's wearing this cute little silver outfit. Love her hair, love her makeup. And it reminds me of Britney Spears. And I was literally obsessed with Britney Spears when I was like two years old. I just really could not find an outfit similar to this one whatsoever. So I ended up literally making making my own and just putting my own spin on the outfit. Also, the gloves that I was supposed to wear with this outfit never got delivered. That was a kind of a vital part of the outfit, but oh well. I am going to do my makeup and my hair and then we'll put on the outfit. You know how this goes. Let's do it. <laughs> my best intentions keep making a mess. I have Glee songs stuck in my head. <laughs> Listen, it looks as if Barbie Diva Gone Platinum got turned into a human, and then that human, me, had a wild night out. The top. I don't want to talk about the top, okay? There's so much double-sided tape on me. This is what you're getting. See, and the gloves would have made it so much better, but God damn it, they didn't get delivered. It just really looks like the top is made of tin foil. This was originally a long sleeve turtleneck. I'm not, I don't make clothes. I have a pair of scissors and that's it. Maybe if I just like do that, it really covers it. Yeah, whatever. I feel like I'm from the movie, um, teenage, teenage drama, confessions of a teenage drama queen. That girl was a long time teenage drama queen. Whatever, let's just do a fucking montage. You had me right under your thumb Every day Persuading me in every single way I was down in your life Everything surveillance on my social media Freaking me out Let the jacket 
come the time to end the video. I really sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was very fun to make. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! God damn!